It is do or die time for our Leafs. They are back on the road tonight facing elimination against their nemesis, the Boston Bruins. Greg Ross is live at Maple Leaf Square. Greg, we've been here before and it did not end well. But you know what? We're not giving up until it is officially over this year, sir. Yeah, there's still hope, no doubt about yes. it. But the Leafs definitely have their backs up against the wall in this series, trailing three games to one against the mighty Boston Bruins, a team that seems to have had their number going back to 2013 in the playoffs. But, I mean, let's face it, in order to get this done, very few teams come back from a 3-1 deficit. The Leafs are going to have to win three straight games. Two of those games are going to be on the road, including game five tonight in Boston. It's a huge hurdle to overcome, but who knows? Maybe it can be a motivator for this team. If you think back to 2013, remember that series against the Boston Bruins. It goes to seven games, and in game seven, the Leafs were actually leading the Bruins 4-1 to one with 10 minutes to go in the third period. The Bruins came back and tied it and then won that game in overtime. They went on to win the Stanley Cup that year. That was a huge motivation for them. Maybe this is something that the Leafs need, uh, I guess, to be able to overcome a huge hurdle like this, and maybe that can give them the push that they need. But again, it is going to be so difficult for this team to bounce back after falling down three games to one, Dwight. Greg, you know, it's not nice. We do not ever need to relive that specific game, sir. Let's get to <laughs> Austin Matthews. He left game four early. Will he be returning tonight? Well, you know, that's the big question mark because uh, he has some sort of undisclosed illness and uh, Sheldon Keefe described it as a lingering illness that just doesn't seem to want to go away. And he says it gets worse when Austin Matthews exerts himself. And so uh, that is, I guess, the explanation as to why Austin Matthews wasn't very good in game four of this series. He left the, that game early as the Leafs obviously went on to lose that game. Uh, and they've had a couple of days off. So he's had some time to rest, but still the Leafs aren't saying whether or not he'll be ready to go for game five of this series, a do or die game. As you said, Dwight, the Leafs facing elimination, they definitely need their leading scorer in the lineup. Austin Matthews, 69 goals in the regular season. That's a Leaf record. They're going to need him to be in the lineup tonight. But again, he is questionable. Greg, this has all been very frustrating for the fans and for the team, too, because the Leafs were showing their frustration on the bench in Game 4. What happened there? Well, look, this is eight years of frustration. Remember, this is a core group of players uh, that have been together for a long, long time, and they've always uh, had this, I guess, mental block of trying to get uh, on a run in the playoffs. They've barely been able to get out of the first round. In fact, last season was the first time they won a playoff series together, and it was that core three on the bench in game four. You see at one point Austin Matthews turns, and he seems to be having a heated discussion with Mitch Marner, and then the camera camera angle switches over and you see William Nylander also having a heated discussion with Mitch Marner. You see at one point Mitch Marner throwing his gloves on the bench in frustration. Now we've had some amateur lip readers on the internet trying to determine what these players were saying, but at the end of the day, there's no doubt you could see the frustration on their faces, not just the frustration of what's happening in this series. This is frustration, uh, Dwight, that has been boiling over for this team for a long, long time time yes. and uh, you have to wonder if this team cannot get it done in these playoffs what that is going to mean for the future of this team we know that Austin Matthews is signed long term at least another five years you've got a big eight-year deal that William Nylander just signed Mitch Marner though has just one year remaining on his contract and there are a lot of questions swirling about whether uh, or not he should be traded uh, if the Leafs lose this series. And I think the other people that might be a little bit concerned about their futures with this organization, uh, if the Leafs do lose in the first round, are people that are in the front office right now. You think about Brendan Shanahan, who has been, I guess, the, the, the orchestrator of this team. He's the guy that put all of this together. Uh, his future has to be in question. And then you think about head coach Sheldon Keefe. He's, uh, again, Got to be wondering what the future of his job is. Brad Living is a general manager that they just brought in uh, before the start of this season. So his uh, future might not be as much in question. It's hard to blame him for what's happened over the last eight years, but there's no doubt about it. It might be time for this team to look in a different direction if they can't find a way to come back and win this series, Dwight. You're absolutely right about that. I was going to end by asking you about that. And you're right about Brad. He just got here, but 
I mean, I don't know about Shanahan and some of these other folks, Keith. They may be in trouble if they don't get it done. One of the things I did want to ask you about, though, Greg, is goaltending for this series. Boston's has really showed up through this series. How about us? And could that be the difference tonight? Well, I, you have to wonder. I mean, Jeremy Swayman has been uh, just outstanding, not only in this playoff series, against the Leafs just in general, particularly this season. Three wins against the Leafs in the regular season. Now he has three wins in the postseason. So strict, six straight victories uh, for uh, Boston against the Leafs. He definitely seems to have their number. So they're pretty secure in goal. The Leafs, not so secure in goal. Um, Samsonov, uh, who, Ilya Samsonov, who was the guy that they pegged as their uh, starter for the playoffs, was pulled in game four. Now, this is a guy that has had some mental hurdles to overcome throughout the regular season. You remember, he took some time away from the team to deal with those issues. He was able to come back strong, which I think a lot of people thought was a good sign, but now getting pulled in game four, you have to wonder how that's going to impact him, whether he's going to be able to get over that. And then you have Joe of Wall who comes in he didn't play very badly in that game four and now the question is will they go back to Wall for game five tonight is it too late can he be the guy that gives them the spark that they need in order to get over this hurdle that we've been talking about we'll have to wait to see what happens with the Leafs when they hit the ice for their morning skate we'll see which goaltender is in the starters net but at the end of the day it's not a problem Dwight that you want to have at this time of year uh, uncertainty between the pipes Thank you, Greg. Great job as usual.